You don't know what is about to happen to you. Your life is changing tonight. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know how you started 2023, but I came here to announce to you tonight. You have entered the place where your life is changing. My God, my God, my God. You have entered the place where your story is changing. You have entered the place where your life is changing. I was coming for this meeting to come.
As I was coming for this meeting today, I asked the Holy Ghost, what am I saying? The Holy Ghost showed me a speech. And the Lord said, announce to them, that is what is happening to them. The Holy Ghost showed me 1 Samuel chapter 10. For Samuel chapter 10. I'm going to read verse 3. I'm going to read from NLT. Oh Jesus. When you get to the oak of Tabor. This is prophet Samuel talking to Saul. You will see three men coming towards you. Who are on their way to worship God at Bethel. One will be bringing three young goats. Another will have three loaves of bread. And the third will carry a wineskin full of wine. They will greet you and offer you two loaves which you are to accept. That is not why we came. Verse 5. It says... When you arrive at Gibeah of God, where the garrison of the Philistines is located, you will meet a band of prophets coming down from the place of worship. They will be playing a harp, a tambourine, a flute, and a lyre. And they will be prophesying. And the Lord told me, we have not come to sing, we have come to prophesy. He said, when you come to that place, you will meet people called prophets. These prophets are not shaking and falling, they are carrying tambourine. They are carrying musical instruments. And they will begin to prophesy. They will be, oh my God. I said, Lord, what are you saying? He said, see what we are putting in the next verse. Then they will play this and at that time the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and you will be changed to a different person. Everyone at Art Body 2023 you have come to the gathering of prophets and when you come to the gathering of prophets what happens is that you are changed to another man and you suddenly begin to prophesy. And something happened after the scripture. They said, is Saul also among the prophets? Is Saul also among the prophets? How come he's prophesying like them? Saul attended the meeting of prophets. He became a prophet. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall do what? I have been asking, how will they prophesy? He said, when you come to the group of prophets, the spirit upon them will enter into you. What have you come to do today? You have come to the group of prophets, you are already a prophet. How many prophets are here? How many prophets are here? How many prophets are here? He said, when you come to the company of the prophets, you will see them. I am. The difference is that these prophets are worshipping prophets. These prophets are worshipping prophets. They are carrying musical instruments. They are carrying tambourine. As they were worshipping, they were prophesying. Are they prophets here? Yeah. I don't know your whole musical instrument. It can be your hand. It can be your mouth. It can be your tambourine. Can you prophesy tonight? Can you prophesy tonight? Are there prophets here? Can you prophesy? 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 If it is your hand, your hand must prophesy. If it is prophesy, your leg can prophesy. Your body can prophesy. Where are the prophets? Where are the prophets? Can you begin to prophesy? Can you begin to prophesy? Where are the prophets? Where are the prophets? Can you begin to prophesy? You came here ordinary, you are returning home a prophet. You came here ordinary, you are returning home a prophet. You came here normal, you are returning home a prophet. Because when you come to the company of prophets, you prophesy. When you come to the guardian of prophets, you prophesy.
prophesy? Are there prophets here tonight? Can you prophesy? Can you prophesy? These are worshiping prophets. These are worshiping prophets. These are worshiping prophets. Can you prophesy with worship? Can you prophesy? Ah. Celebrate come. Now we want to prophesy with a language we don't understand. We want to prophesy with a language we don't understand. Can you grab a fellow prophet? Hold the hand of a fellow prophet. We are going to blast in tongues in this place. It's time to be changed to another man. It's time to be changed to another woman. Can you prophesy with your tongues? Can you prophesy with your tongues? Celebrate, Papa. This is what is happening to us. We are changed to another person. We are changed to another person. Can you make it louder? Can you make it louder? We are changed to another person. We are changed to another person. Tonight is that night when God is raising prophets in Lagos. Where are the prophets? Can you bless in the Holy Ghost? Celebrate Prophets prophesy. Prophets prophesy. Prophets prophesy. Prophets prophesy. Celebrate Prophets prophesy. Celebrate it. Heavens is open upon this house. Prophets prophesy. Prophets prophesy. Prophets prophesy. Heaven is open upon this city. Prophets prophesy. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. He said, When you go to the company of the prophets, you will change to another man and you begin to prophesy. Where are the prophets? Can you prophesy? Can can you make it loud if your neighbor is not prophesying leave your neighbor look for a prophet look for another prophet can you raise your voice the heavens are open celebrate the piker Prophesy, prophesy. Can I make it louder? Make it stronger? Make it mightier? Make it deeper? Prophesy. Separate pa kan pa ta pa eklento pa pa ikata ma selembro ko pa na kata me kata ese separate ta pa ese si atame kotamba sabara tamba lift up your hands oh ye gate and be lifted up ye everlasting doors that the king of glory may come in who is this king of glory the last strong and mighty prophesy prophesy sisters prophesy Brothers, professor, you are chained to another man. 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 You are chained. Ah, pa. The power of God is here. The fire of God is here. The power of God is here. You are chained to another man. Prophets, professor. Zenekapema kopanda. Celebrate Bakata Mekatai Sarunda Tatai Kapa Skeleba Telebramba. These are worshipping prophets. These are worshipping prophets. He said he saw them with tambourine, he saw them with flute, he saw them with lyre. They were prophesying. These are worshipping prophets. These are worshipping prophets. Where are the prophets in Lagos? Where are the prophets in Nigeria? These are worshipping prophets. Can you worship with your tongues? Can you worship with your tongues? Ah. Ah. Amen. Amen. Celebrantes. Prophets, listen to me. Verse 9, 1 Samuel 10:9. I saw tongues 
and started to live, God gave him a new heart. As you live out pulling, you are returning with a new heart. All Samuel's signs were fulfilled in one day. When Saul and his servants arrived at Gibeah, they saw a group of prophets coming towards them. Then the Spirit of God came upon Saul. And they said, Is Saul also among the prophet? Look at your neighbor, say prophet. Look at your neighbor, say prophet. Look at your neighbor, say prophet. Ask that neighbor's name. What's the person's name? So you call the person prophet Daniel. <laughs> call the person's name prophet. 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 Are you a prophet? Listen to me. Listen. He said, In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon apostles, upon pastors, upon general overseers, upon bishop, upon who? All flesh. How many flesh? Are you a prophet? Are you a prophet? Give God a shout. Listen. As I live here now, what happened to Saul is that he went there ordinary as he was going. The hand of God came upon him and Saul became different. Lift up your two hands. Prophecy, prophecy. Prophet shot it. I want three thousand, four thousand, ten thousand prophets to roar in tongues. Give a shot.
It's like we are creating a funnel that God can feel. To me, when we lift our hands, it's a sign of surrender. Saying, Lord, we surrender all to you. Can you lift your hands? It's a form of worship. Paul said, lifting up holy hands without wrath. So it means when you lift your hands, it's a form of New Testament worship. Lift your hands wherever you are. In the honor of the King of Kings. Father, these are the hands lifted up to you today. This is a generation 
of those who seek your face, not your hands. So we lift our hands to you today as a sign of surrender, as a sign of allegiance. And we give you glory all over this place. Let this come to you as a sweet smelling sacrifice. Pure, holy and acceptable. In Jesus precious name. For we are standing. On holy ground. And I know. That there are angels all around. Let us pray Jesus now for we are standing. We On holy ground, Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Jesus, we are here. We are here. Jesus, we are. Somebody register yourself in Zion tonight. Jesus. Hey! Somebody personalize it. Jesus, I am here. Jesus. Jesus. And to see you are your lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power, and my God As we sing We've come to see you are Shining in the light, head of your glow. Somebody lift your hands and tell him tonight. Oh, as, your power and love. as we sing, as we sing, lift it up one more time. We've come to see you. Say so it's shining in the light. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your power and love. As we sing, as we sing. Holy, holy. Lift your hands. Tell him tonight. We've come to see you. Come on, let the musicians prophesy. My Lord, my God, is here. Somebody lift your hands. The presence of God is here. Pray in the Holy Ghost. My God. Open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth. Shade Kombri Disifilia. Menu Satelika, my God. Akupa Katalia. Merodish the Filandi and Kapalade. And Lusta Beriana Topekate. The earth is the Lord and the food is thereof. The world and those who dare bear it. For he has fallen it upon the seas and establish it upon the waters. Who may ascend it to the hill of the Lord? You who has a clear and a pure heart. 
who has not lifted up his sword to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek you, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Jehovah Sabaoth. He who opens up, and no man can shut up. He shuts up, and no man can open. I lack up a radius to Pecato, a loose to Paradiate. We've come to see you. We've come to see you. I've come to see you. I've come to see you. I've come. This my session is to align you. This my session is to bring alignment. This refused to be only Stadium. No. This is now Zion, the city of the living God. We are now face to face with the spirit of just men made perfect. Innumerable company of angels. We come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of heaven. We have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We have come to the church of the first book. My God. And upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the people shall possess their possession, for they go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God. This is Zion. It shall be said, this one, that one, this one, that one was born there. My God, I love the curtain. It doesn't matter how you came in tonight. Simon, you are about to become Peter. Saul, you are about to become Paul. Ashaba Gagaga. Erusta Bekate. Alate Para. You come in through the east gate. You are going back through the west gate. Ayayaya. Ayaya Palagate. Eto Peredeata. Who is it that cometh from Hidom with the dead coming from Boston? 
If you see him, would you recognize him? I said, if the Son of Man stands beside you tonight, would you recognize him? Father, I pray that the eyes of their understanding may be enlightened, that they may know, that they may see. Joshua, see, see, see. I have given you Jericho. Oh, the son of the prophet. Those who are for you are more than those who are against you. That's why you are here. That the veil may be removed. That the veil may be. Ah, that's why you came. That's why you came. Why am I? Somebody forget about your neighbor. These are the last days. I said these are the last days. Nobody is here to hype you up. No. The spirit of the Lord is about to take you up. Because if you jump up, you will come down. But if you grow up, you will stay there. Nobody is here to hype you. We are going on a journey tonight and my first assignment is to align, 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 align your minds, align your minds, my God, my God. As I'm speaking now, the Lord is giving some people new tongues, new tongues, new tongues, new tongues, new tongues, Holy Ghost. I know you don't need any introduction. All over this room, all over this stadium, I release the power of the Spirit. Let it move now, now, now. Let it move now. Let it move now. Kaloste beradia, malia koparadaste. Forget about your neighbor. No. Forget about the man on stage. In Zion, there are no worship leaders. Everyone is a worshiper.
There is no other God we live Lift it up. Oh, be lifted. Take it up and send me down. Sebara, say Everybody, 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say Yale, Yale. Somebody just keep singing in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, send them a road on the car. And the valley, na 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 na.
for this opportunity to be a blessing. I honor all the men and women of God in the house. Can we give Jesus a big hand all over this place? Tonight, there will be an outpouring of love and hunger and passion for Jesus. Do you believe it? Hold the hands of your neighbor very quickly. But if you don't mind, just have one partner. Hold one neighbor. Hold one neighbor. We're journeying into hunger. Oh, your journey begins once you are hungry for God. If you live here without it, nothing really serious has happened to you. If you get hungry today, your journey begins today. And those of you who have lost your hunger, God is restoring it tonight. Are you ready? Declare in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration of love, hunger, passion for Jesus. Close your eyes, lift your voice and blast in the Holy Ghost. Come on, everywhere contend for this. A new measure. A new measure. Come on, contend, contend, contend. Lift your voice louder and faster now. Louder and faster now. Come on, that sister beside you needs it. That brother beside you needs it. A family is represented here. That is somebody's father, somebody's mother, somebody's son, somebody's daughter. Ask for a baptism and now pour it. Of love and hunger and passion. Ten more seconds. Come on. Ten more seconds. Seconds, somebody lift your voice. It's happening, though. We are praying to the one who answers prayer. Many of you will live here and notice it's easy to pray after now. The struggle is coming to an end. Come on, pray as if you understand what you're doing. Ask for an outpouring of prayer power. Jesus mighty name we are prayed one more before we begin to push in worship that person you're holding is representing a church is that correct tell your neighbor my church needs your prayers the person does not believe you tell the person my church needs your prayers what does your church need more hunger doesn't matter how good it is, it can be more. Yes or no? And that person is going to be praying for you. You'll be praying for that person. I see an outpouring all over this city and nation of hunger. In all the churches represented, they declare, Father, we receive the outpouring of hunger, passion for Jesus. Lift your voice and thunder in prayers. Jesus, 
your voice and call him Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my Lord. I want to make you smile. I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. I want to bless your heart. Jesus, oh. Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to wipe your tears. I want to make you cry. In a generation with many liars, with many scammers, with many yahoo, you have found me. You have found me. Search no further. If you are looking for a man that will give it all, that will spend it all, that will love you, Lord, you have found me. You have found me. Search no further. Shout it out, Jesus. Oh. I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. Jesus. I want to wipe your tears. I want to make you proud. The voice is declared. Please mean it. Please mean it. Close your eyes and say it to him. Kai. Something is happening to you, my sister. I want, oh my God. Child. Jesus, I want to wipe your tears. I want to make you proud. One more time, Jesus. told me today there shall be an outpouring of instructions. Someone say instructions. Come on, I can't hear you. Say instructions. Why did I say so? Even this meeting is a product of what? If you want to show him love, then you must know what he wants for you. What he wants from your life. Mark 14, 15 says, if you love me, obey my commandments. It means the proof of love is obedience. Acts 13.2, they were ministering and fasting like we are doing. And the Bible says, the Holy Ghost spoke and said, separate to me, Paul and Barnabas. There is something you are going to know this night as we journey. And I hope somebody is ready for that instruction. Lift your voice and declare, I am ready for my marching orders. We are going to turn into prayer in the next two, three minutes and then we'll take that song again for the last time. Are you ready? Hold that neighbor again. You remember that neighbor? If the person didn't pray for you very well, find a better neighbor now, 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 now. Shout at the top of your voice. We receive the outpouring of instructions. Oh my God. Do you understand this prayer? Come on, pray like you love that neighbor. Shout. We receive the outpouring of instructions. Lift your voice and turn thy prayers. Come on, push, push, push. Push it for two minutes. Paul asks two questions.
questions. He asked two questions. Number one, who art thou, Lord? Number two, what will you have me do? Come on, let's contain as a body. If you love me, obey. I'll obey because I'm in love. I'll obey because I'm in love. Because I'm in love. Because I'm in love. I will serve you because I'm in love. I'm in love with my Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Receive it. Receive it as you pray. Yes, I'm open to instructions. Twenty more seconds. Come on. Show me, Jesus, what do you have for me? How will I bring you the highest satisfaction? What do you want me to do, Jesus? Open my eyes, open my ears, awaken my hunger. Oh, the rain is coming, oh. The rain is coming, oh. The rain is coming. It's a rain of instructions. That will trigger the next level in your life, in your ministries. Ten more seconds.
I sit in heaven, so I laugh. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. He who sits in heaven, laugh. He who sits in heaven, laugh. He who sits in heaven, laugh. Those who sit in heaven, laugh. Those who sit in heaven, laugh. I sit in heaven, so I laugh. I sit in heaven, Are you so sure? He who sits in heaven, shout. He who sits in heaven, shout. He who sits in heaven, shout. Those who sit in heaven, shout. I sit in heaven. Are you ready? Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! He who sits in heaven now. He who sits in heaven. Somebody laugh in the Holy Ghost.
I know he was already here before we came, but I'm, I'm sensing his manifest presence before our patriot comes on stage. Wow, 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 look to do. Wow, wow, wow. Please lift your hands, close your eyes, remain silent. This is the moment we came from.
time, lift your voice. Say when we come in through the east gate scripture says we must go out through the west gate that a Simon becomes Peter tonight a Saul becomes Paul a Sarai becomes Saul this is our humble cry tonight and we give you praise Lift your hands and just bless. Thank you, Father. questions, why are we here? We are not here for a concert. This is not a social gathering. We are here to meet Jesus. This is not an ambition of a man to gather crowd. This is a wisdom of the spirit beckoning on people. Zechariah 10 verse 8 Zechariah 10 verse 8 says I will blow my whistle and gather my people You are not here by happenstance or circumstance It is not a coincidence that you are here today God himself brought you here for such a time as this Look at your neighbor and say, you are at the right place, at the right time, with the right people. Look at another neighbor and say, you are at the right place, at the right time, with the right people. We are here for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That's why we are here. This has become Zion. This is not only come stadium again. This has now become Zion. Hebrews 12 from verse 22. Hebrews 12 from verse 22. But you have come to Zion and the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable com company of angels. Oh, we have come to the general assembly and church of the first one who are registered in heaven to God the judge of all to the spirit of just men made perfect to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel that's why we are here, we are in Zion now look at your neighbor say I'm in Zion and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the people shall possess their possession. Listen to me, my generation. The answer to this generation will only come from this generation. That's why God is beckoning on us tonight as we come together to not miss timing. Divine timing needs divine alignment. 
Look at your neighbor and say, divine timing needs divine alignment. So if your neighbor is going to stop you or distract you, you better change your neighbor. Tonight is a destiny meeting. Tonight is a handshake between two generations. My generation, the Lord said to me, one of the, one of the keys into moving into the next phase of our assignment will be honor. Look at him and say honor. Because the move of the spirit is a relay race. A button has to be given. Uh, you didn't hear me. I said revival is a relay race. The button must be passed. Revival is a relay race. If you see any man acting in isolation, run from them. They don't understand the move. No matter how God is using them, run from them. They don't understand the move of the spirit. It is a relay race. Jeremiah 6.16. Jeremiah 6, 16, before I, um, I honor uh, some dignitaries. And, uh, the Bible says, Thus hear the Lord, stand ye in the ways. Can you see? So this man here is not looking for way. There are already ways. Stand ye in the ways and see. Because you can be in ways and not see. And ask for the old part. Ask. Stand ye in the ways and see. So meaning you are not really lost. But there's something missing. The old part. You must ask questions. Ask for the old part. And guess what the Bible says? Where is the good way? And then walk therein. And it guarantees us that we will find what? We will find what? Look at your neighbor say rest. Sons go further because of the blessings of their fathers. We are not vagabonds. We are not bastards. We honor our fathers. I'm here as a representative of this generation. To say that we honor fathers adequately and appropriately. Do I have some witness here? So don't miss your moment tonight. In a little while, I'm going to bring up, is my, it will be my singular honor to bring up our father in the Lord. Uh, just hold on. Daddy is already seated. But before then, I want us to please appreciate and honor and celebrate the executive governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu. Please, can you help me celebrate our executive governor? Thank you so much, sir, for coming to honor the Lord and honor our father in the Lord. Please, can we celebrate our governor? Come on, everybody. Please have your seat. We are here. Please don't miss this moment. Align, align. What, sometimes what is missing can only be found with a mantle. Ask the sons of the prophet. They will tell you that sometimes what is missing can only be found with a mantle. In a few moments, our Father in the Lord will be coming up stage. Please. Yes. Please hold on, hold on. Just follow. The Bible says, follow those who through faith and patience obtain the promise. Follow those who through faith and patience obtain the promise. Is that not a paradox? Faith says now. 
Patience says wait. So faith will build your confidence in God. Patience will build character. Wait. Follow those who through faith and consistency have obtained the promise. That's why we are here tonight. I made up my mind that if that day comes, I'll catch it. You didn't hear me. If he comes, it's an impartation. If he smiles, it's an impartation. If he waves, it's an impartation. If he's... Uh, Sometimes we miss the move of God because we are not very, you know, observant of things. Because even the joke of a prophet is a prophecy. Yeah. Daddy will be 82 next year. Please, can I have... days we are, we are starting up a challenge please watch the screen you can log on and register later after this meeting we are having 82 days of soul winning look at your name and say soul winning Look at your another, another level. Say, he who wins a soul is wise. Ask your neighbor, are you wise? Let your neighbor answer you. If you are wise, you will win a soul. So from the 13th, the 13th, 12th rather, of December, we are embarking on, a, on an 82-day soul winning challenge. This is the challenge you must join. Not the one you do on TikTok. Uh, this one you must join. Look at your neighbor and say, I will win so. And this is the best birthday gift that we can give to daddy. Please, I want you to go around. You can organize your street. You, of course, my outpouring team, we know we do that already. You can organize a street. Just find your name. Find your friend. Win a soul. This generation does not know about soul winning. All we do is invite people to church. We don't really, we don't really witness to them. And somebody is asking how. From a conversation. Even as you go home tonight. As you get into your bus. Or get into the taxi. Hey everybody how are you doing? I just want to tell you Jesus loves you. Somebody says, I'm shy. As you speak, it will give you what to say. The first thing you must do is open your mouth and I will feel it. That's what the Bible says. So from 12th of December to the 2nd of March, which is his birthday, we are going to go around winning souls. How many, how many are going to do it for tonight? So we are going to shine the light in our communities, in our churches, sorry, in our streets, in our schools. There are many, in fact, start from your brother. Start from your sister who is not born again yet. Witness Christ to them. Pray. And as you do it, I pray that the Lord blesses you. Can we rise on our, on our feet? I'm going to bring up Pastor Kole Ajayi. To welcome our daddy in the Lord. And the next voice you shall hear. Shall be the, the voice of our patriarch. Can you lift your hands everywhere? Just bless him.
what a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. of days the almighty God the bright and the morning star the alpha and the omega the beginning and the ending the one who is the one who was the one who is to come the almighty wonderful counselor mighty God Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, glory be to your holy name. Father, glory be to your holy name. And Father, my God, my request tonight is that in the lives of all these, your children, you will do something new. You will do something they will never forget. You will give them a brand new beginning. And before the sun rises tomorrow, let everyone here have a testimony. Father, I'm asking specially that we will bless our governor. Yeah. That we will bless Lagos State. Yeah. And please, Lord, bless Nigeria. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. I want you to shake hands with um, one or two people. Tell them, brother, sister, I love you. But tonight, my miracle will be bigger than yours. And then you may please be seated. God bless you. I am extremely delighted to be here tonight. I thank God for those of you who are here. I can assure you that because my God answers prayers, you will never forget tonight. Yeah. 
I'm extremely delighted that our governor is here with us. The God that you have come to honor, sir, we honor you in return. I'm here to talk to you very, very briefly. Actually, I've come to pray for you. But before I pray, I want to share with you for about 15 minutes. I've come to talk to you about the link between worship and destiny. Because the destiny of somebody is about to be released. The Bible says in John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. John 4, 23 to 24. It says, The hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And then in verse 24, it says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The almighty God loves worship. When you count the number of the mass choirs in heaven, I don't know what's happening in that corner. If those people want to call me, let them come. <laughs> There's nowhere to sit. They can sit on the floor. <laughs> so don't lock out anybody because uh, you never can tell the fellow that you are keeping... <laughs> See, the devil knows something is about to happen. It's a failure anyway. God loves worship. If you count the number of the mass choir in heaven, it will shock you. He calls them Thousands of thousands, that's millions. And then he said, plus 10,000 of 10,000. And yet, in spite of all that massive mass choir, the Almighty God says, I am still seeking for someone else. Just one, one more member of the choir. He's seeking for worshipers. And he's going to find one here tonight. Yeah. Now, what has worship got to do with destiny? Because the one who controls destiny is seeking for worshipers. Whenever he finds a worshiper, he releases a destiny. So if you learn to worship him, your destiny will locate you. When he was talking about how he got David to become king, when he was looking for a shepherd boy to become king, he said to us, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, from verse 20 to 22, he said, I have found a man. Found a man means he was seeking. You have to be seeking to find. He said, I found a man who will do my will. What is his will? He just wants somebody who will worship him. What else does he need? 
when you know how to worship God, it doesn't matter where you are. Your destiny will locate you. Not only that, as soon as your destiny locates you, the same worship will move you from where you are to where you need to be to become what God wants you to become. After God had rejected King Saul and has anointed David to be the next king, if you read the whole of 4 Samuel chapter 16, you will find the story there. The Bible says an evil spirit from the Lord began to trouble Saul. And someone said, Sir, you have a problem. I think you need somebody who can worship. To worship God whenever the evil spirit is troubling you and the evil spirit will leave you alone. And suddenly somebody said, I know a man who can worship God. And the king said, bring him. So from where David was taking care of sheep and goats, they went and brought him to the palace, to the place where one day he will be ruling. I don't know who God has in mind tonight. You might be a house help, but God is training you for greatness. It will bring you to the right place. Destiny will locate you and then relocate you to where you should be to become what he wants you to, to become. Not only that, as you go along in the journey to fulfilling your destiny, Automatically, there will be enemies. If somebody tells you, I have no enemies, then I can tell him, it means you are not going anywhere. Because the moment the enemy notices that you are on your way up, <laughs> they will do everything. Like I've always told my children, those of us, when we were living in Moshi in those days, we were living in Moshi. Most of us there, maybe you have two trousers, two shirts, and if you have a bicycle at all, it is either second hand or third hand. You don't need a bodyguard who is coming to steal your third hand bicycle. <laughs> And all you need to do is take a look at Ikoyi, take a look at VI. And when you see some houses, you see the walls, and you see some notices saying, beware of dogs, telling you there's someone inside there who has gone to a certain position. Because the moment you begin to move upwards, there must be reaction of the enemy. But I have good news for you. If only you can learn to worship. Anyone who tries to mess around with your destiny will be surprised. Uh, well, you can read that one in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, from verse 25. To the end. Acts 16, 25 to the end. God had already made up his mind that a man you that I used to call Saul of Tarsus, who became converted and became Paul, God had made up his mind. He will perform special miracles by the hand of this man. 
But long before he got to where God was taking him, some people grabbed him, threw him into prison. And they were going to kill him the following day. But at midnight, Paul and his assistant, they prayed and they worshipped God. And the one who had planned his destiny sent an earthquake. I decree to someone here today, every wall trying to block your way to destiny shall fall. So destiny will locate you if you know how to worship God. Then the same worship we relocate you to where you need to be to become what you need to become. And if you just know how to worship God, any effort to truncate your destiny will be destroyed. But there are some people whose destiny had already been messed up thoroughly by the enemy. Something told you when you were very young that you were going to be great. And now you have reached a certain stage and you are <laughs> asking yourself, where is the greatness? Because some enemies had interfered. If only you can worship God, God will restore your destiny. In Mark chapter 5, from verse 2 to 20, Mark 5, 2 to 20, you know the story of a man who was so mad. I mean, so mad that he, everybody had written him off. He himself had written himself off. He was living in the tomb, just waiting. He, he knew. If he died, nobody is going to bother to bury him. So he said, let me stay in the graveyard. Then one day, Jesus was passing by. And the only thing that man did was worship. Because the moment he opened his mouth to say what the demons in him took over, they won't even allow him to pray. Because they heard about it. The Bible said a legion of demons. Uh, Bible scholars, they have not really agreed on how many demons make a legion. But some of them said that that means at least 6,000 demons. One demon is enough to make anybody mad. This man had 6,000. But it was already too late for the enemy because this man had worshipped. And like I keep telling people, if a madman can worship Jesus... What's your excuse? You are not mad. At least if you are mad, it's not 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 2. Do you know at the end of the day, the man who woke up naked, living in the mortuary or in the whatever, cemetery, was already an evangelist. Because that's what God made him to be. That was his destiny. But his destiny was so messed up, there was no hope for him until he worshipped. There are some of you here now, you don't even know how far you are from the goal God has for you. But as you worship him tonight, the journey to the top begins for you. I just tell you one story. That should be about enough, and then I will pray for you. After I've prayed for you, then you will worship God in spirit and in truth. The worship you are going to do on your own before the musician will come and help you further will be 100% your own. And I will tell you what to do. There was a young man they brought to the redemption camp way back, I think, in 1985. 
was a student at the College of Mercy in the University of Ibadan. When I saw him, by the time they brought him, he had not slept for seven days. His eyes were crimson red. Was a problem. His father fought with another man in their village. And the other man said, pronounce a curse on the father. I said, by the time I finish with you, there will be no trace that you had ever been in this world. Oh, the father thought <laughs> he was an angry man just speaking as if he's drunk. So he ignored it. Well, less than two weeks later, his father died. And then all the children came home to bury their father. Among those who came home to bury the father was the firstborn who has just returned from Germany and has just brought, bought a car, so he came home driving his new car. After the burial of the father, they were on their way home, and the fellow with the brand new car had an accident and died. They brought the news to the mother. The mother had the news, collapsed, and died. The other children came back to bury their brother and their mother. On their way back, the one next to the fellow who bought the new car had an accident and died. Anyway, the story continued until it remained the last bomb. This one who was the student. And he came home to see if he could get some money from the father's uh, farm for his education. And that man who placed the curse on the father saw him and said, ah, there still remains one. Ah. And he said, okay, before I kill this one, I will torture him a bit. So the boy got back to the campus, gathered all his books together and all his clothes, and set it on fire. Of course, you know what they would do in that situation. They just picked him and took him to Aru. They pumped him full of drugs. He was a little sober. So he came back to the university and where he needed money now to buy new books and clothes. So he had to go home. And that man saw him and said, ah, this one is still, he's still looking sober. And added a little more fuel to the fire. So the boy came back again and began to behave even worse than before. They two came back to our... Uh, the, anyway, to cut the long story short, after a while, somebody said, wait a minute, the case of this boy is not ordinary. Let's take him to Jesus. That's when they brought him to the camp. Uh, we prayed a little prayer. My God stepped in. He became normal. We told him, don't bother to go home for now. God will pay your school fees. And remember the day he finished, the day he became a doctor. He came to see me at the headquarters and said, but for God, by now I will probably be eating, walking naked in the street, eating anything that I can find on the dung hill. Now, I'm a doctor. I said, congratulations, sir. But I don't think being a doctor is actually the final goal for you. Well, to cut a long story short, today is an evangelist. There is a God who can do all things. There's a God who can reverse the irreversible. And all he wants from you is worship. However, he said something in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8. Proverbs 15, verse 8. He said, yeah, I love worship. 
but I don't want it from a wicked man. He said the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. You say you want to praise me? Uh -uh. If you are not one of my own, I don't want to hear. You are living in sin. And you want to come to Onika Stadium to sing and dance and shout hallelujah. And then when you leave here, you go back, begin to fornicate, begin to steal, begin to defraud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, keep your worship to your father, the devil. That's why tonight, before you worship, before destiny will locate you, before you worship, so that destiny can relocate you to where you should be, so that you can become what you should become. Before you worship, so that nobody will be able to truncate your destiny. Before you worship, so that the almighty God will say, anything that has been messed up, vis-a-vis -vis your destiny will be put right. You better make sure you have given your life to Jesus Christ. Uh, I can't see enough room here to make an altar call. But maybe I will say, if you really, really want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, before we proceed further, I think you better stand on your feet now. Because uh, don't see made a statement. Don't miss your moment. A day like this comes only once in a lifetime. Next time they are meet, holding a meeting like this, I might not be around. Why? Uh, who knows? I'm already going to be 82. If somebody dies at 82, you can't call him a biku. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not dying yet. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. Oh, I might be somewhere else in the world. Mm, because I have some places I've never visited. And I need to. But I'm here today. We know today. Only God knows tomorrow. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, if you really mean business, stand on your feet now. And lift your hand to the almighty God. All over the place. And say, Lord, no more joking. I'm surrendering my life to you now. 100%. 100%. All over the place. You just stand. Say, I'm not joking. I mean business now. I want to surrender my life to you. Almighty God, 100%. Yes, please. Keep standing for a few minutes. I think maybe the counselors might be able to reach you and slip a card in your hand. Even as we pray, as we pray. So just remain standing. And then talk to the Almighty God. He said, Lord, save my soul, save my soul. I surrender my life to you. I'm no longer pretending. Just have mercy on me and save my soul. And if you had known Jesus before, but to backslid, and you know you are back to what you say you will never do again, stand up too. You need restoration. So if you know you're a backslider, stand up too, so that I can include you in my prayers. And do that very, very quickly. And begin to cry to the Lord. Save my soul. Restore me, Lord. I want to be a member of your family. And I want to be in a very permanent manner. Now, the rest of us who are already sure of our salvation, will you please cry to God for all those who are standing. And say, Father, please have mercy on them. Save their souls. Give them genuine salvation. Receive them into the family of God. Lord God Almighty, let them become yours. 
in a definite, permanent way. Pray for them. Pray for them for just another minute or two. And if you want to stand and you haven't done so yet, do so very quickly. It is important because that is going to determine whether your worship will ever be acceptable to God or not. Just one more minute of prayer and then I will pray for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ancient of this, I thank you for your word. The controller of destinies, I bless your name. And I'm thanking you especially for those who are surrendering their lives to you now. And those who had already backslid and they said they want to come back to you. Please, Lord, receive them all. Amen. Have mercy on them. Amen. Let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Please, Lord, give them a brand new beginning. Amen. And every prayer they will pray here tonight, my Father and my God, receive in Jesus' name. Amen. And from now on, let it be well with them. Amen. And I pray we will all serve you to the very end. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> well, thank God for technology. They say you don't even need to wait for the counselors to come. There is something there that we we'll just scan. It's there on the, on the screen. You scan that something, and it will tell you what to do next. And very soon we'll be hearing from you. And I want to promise you, God helping me from now on, I'll be praying for you. Congratulations. So scan the QR code and follow the instructions. Now, I'm going to pray for you. And after I've prayed for you, then you are going to worship God. And I hope they will allow you to do your own personal worship at least for 10 minutes before the musicians will come. Thank God for the mighty musicians that have been arrayed, assembled here tonight. But do you know what? Nobody can worship you, can worship your God like yourself. <laughs> this thing is a matter of individuals. When it comes to destiny, my destiny is different from yours. Your destiny is different from that of the musician. So when it is time to worship, you're going to do it on your own for at least 10 minutes, okay? Now, let's stand. I want to pray for you. If you don't mind, lift your hands to the Almighty God. My Father and my God, I worship you. Ancient of days, I adore you. I'm very, very grateful to you for gathering your children here tonight and for making it possible for me to be here. Father, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, I'm standing before you today as your representative to this, your children. I'm standing before you today as their representative to you. I am praying, Lord God Almighty, that as I decree, you will establish it. Amen. So I decree in the name that's above every other name. In the mighty name of Jesus, your destiny will locate you tonight. Amen. If you are not where you are supposed to be, in the mighty name of Jesus, destiny will relocate you tonight. If your destiny is being truncated by any force, before the sun rises, 
those forces will be scattered. If your destiny seems to be 100% lost, in the name that's above every other name, before you get out of here, your destiny will be fully restored. Whether the enemy likes it or not, you will become what God wants you to become. You will reach the top. You will not die halfway. Whether the enemies are within or without, if they are within, God will humiliate them. If they are without, God will scatter them. The almighty God will fight your battles for you. And so in the name that's above every other name, I release you to your destiny. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Now, the Bible says that we are to make a joyful noise to the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, that's, that's one way of doing it. But the way we, we used to do it when I was younger is the way you are going to do it tonight. Everyone will have his own song of worship. You will be singing your own to him. I will be singing my own to him. When all these songs of worship are combined, it will become a joyful noise. So think of your own song and begin to sing it to the Almighty God. Go ahead and sing it to him. Let him hear you. Sing your own song.
It doesn't matter what you see now. It doesn't matter what you see in Nigeria right now. We are about to see the glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory of the Lord. Yes. Yeah.
over. Taking over. You are taking over. You're taking over. Because you are walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. You are time on earth. I declare over you. You are walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the tongues of heaven fill this place. Fill this place. Fill this place. You are walking. In abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. You are walking in abundance. You are moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I say you are walking in abundance. I declare, say, say, you are walking. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You may all be seated quickly, 15 minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. This is crusade style. Huh? All right. All right. This evening for 15 minutes, I want to speak on the sound of joy. All right. The sound of joy. Quickly. Psalm 89 and verse 15. Psalm 89 and verse 15 tells us, Blessed are those, blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. Next verse, it says, In thy name shall they rejoice all day, and in thy righteousness the day of atonement. And in that year, everybody was set free. If you are in debt, the debt was canceled. If you are serving somebody and he had held you bound in slavery, you were released. It was the year of jubilee, it was the year of deliverance, it was the year of release. So what used to happen is that on the day of the atonement, which happened every year, but on this year, the high priest will go in and once he has offered the blood and sprinkled it on the altar and that sacrifice is accepted, the trumpets will sound and trumpeters will go into villages and cities 
and announced with that sound jubilee. And anybody who was in prison, the prison doors will be opened up, you will begin to rejoice. If you are in debt, you are free. If you are in bondage and you heard that sound of that trumpet, you let go of everything and you walk away a free man. The sound of joy he was talking about there is that sound of jubilee. In other words, Jesus has gone into the holiest of all and he has sprinkled his blood. And he's saying, I have set you all free. But what I am waiting for, and the Father is waiting for, what he's waiting for is for the trumpet and that sound to come out in your life. Once that sound comes out, you are free. Everything Jesus bought will be seen in your life. He's waiting for that sound. Jonah was in the belly of the whale. He prayed. But he said, they that observe lying vanities and look around and judge things by what is going on around, they will forsake the mercy of God. He said, for me to get out of this belly of the whale, I need to make this sound of my deliverance. Wherever that sound is heard, God shows up there because the price has been paid. That's what in Isaiah 49 and verse, Isaiah 49 there, it says, the lawful captive shall be set free. Isaiah 49, 24 and verse 25. The lawful captive shall be set free. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? It says, for thus hear the Lord, even the captives, which means somebody who is lawfully held captive, somebody who did wrong and is in bondage, somebody who is in debt to another person, it says, can that person be set free? Can the prey be taken out of the mouth and the hands of the mighty? It says, yes, they shall be taken away. All right, the prey of the terrible one shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. So the father told Jesus, after the blood was sprinkled, sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. But the father is waiting for the sound. The father is waiting for that joyful sound. He is waiting for you and I to blow the trumpet in our lives and give a distinct sound and celebrate the victory of Jesus. Once God hears that sound, are you following what I'm saying here? Once he hears that sound coming out of you, then he comes to fight for you. Remember what Balaam said? They told Balaam to go and curse some, the Israelites. Balaam came back and said, listen, the shout of the king is in them. When that sound is in them, you can't curse them. It is only people that are making the wrong sounds you can get to. Serpents can access people who the shout of the king is in. So tonight, shout off all the chains. Shout off. That's what we're saying here. Jesus has paid the price. If you have any form, all right, if you have any form, if you have any form of sickness in your body, Jesus has paid the price for that sickness. What the Father is waiting for is for the trumpet to sound. Where's the trumpet sound? Everybody begins to go free. In other words, if somebody bought a slave the week before Jubilee and paid a million dollars for that slave, once the trumpet blows, he says, oh God, I am free. All right? You've lost. So God is saying this. Jesus within the veil has shed his blood. And he's saying, where is the trumpet sound? Wherever I hear that trumpet sound, I will show up in that particular place. The Bible says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up and let the king of glory come in. Who is the king of glory? Mighty in battle. God tonight in this place wants to settle all the controversies of Zion. Whatever you brought in this place, let the sound of the shout of the king come out of you. And that thing shall be judged all right, by the Lord. That thing will be judged by the Lord. That is the sound that he's talking about. 
that blessed are those that know and understand the joyful sound. So don't make any sound again. All right? Don't make any sound of murmuring. Don't make the sound, all right, of a victim. Let the shout of the king be on the inside of you. The blood has been shed. Nothing else can be done. He said, sit at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. In closing, put up Psalm 81 and you'll see what God is saying here. Psalm 81. This is the shout and the sound. Sing aloud unto God, all right, our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a sound. Bring hither the timbrel and the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow the trumpet in the new moon. One of the benefits of Jubilee was that it was a new beginning for everybody. Tonight is a new beginning for you. In other words, it's a new life that will come out. Blow it in the new moon, in the time appointed on the solemn feast day. For this was the statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. Next verse, he ordained it in Joseph for a testimony when I went through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language I understood not. He said, I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pot. Once that sound started coming out from Joseph, once it was no longer the sound of why did my brother treat me this way, it was no longer the sound of why did they sack me, it's no longer the sound of why did they betray me, it's no longer the sound that why did these people walk out of my life, it is the sound that the blood has bought my future for me. It is the sound, are you hearing what I'm saying Yeah, That I have my total redemption in Christ. He said, I removed his shoulder from the body. His hands were delivered from the pot. Next verse. He said, thou call in trouble and I delivered thee because I heard that sound. I answered thee in the secret place. You are shut to your You are shut to your You my God. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. If you can be silent in his presence. I just sense the movement of angels here. Lift your hands, close your eyes. Father, please be silent. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, don't say amen. All over the small, all over the stadium. In the name of the one who sent me. Holy Ghost. From my left to the right. From my back to the front. Right now. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. Shh, don't say amen. Or shall move around. Let the intensity of the presence of God increase here. Now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Now. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord come upon people. I am seeing the hand of the Lord, that mighty hand. And he's coming on people now. 
And this one is bringing speed. Ushers move around. And people are going to start running. By the intensity of the Holy Ghost. One. Two. Three. Help them. For you have come to the city of God. All over this place. I stretch my hand. It becomes the extension of God's hand. Right now, hold them. I release the wind of the spirit. Let it blow across all over this place. Now, 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 by the spirit. This is the reason why you came. As I was praying earlier, the Lord showed me a filling station. Well lit. I saw a lit filling station. And I'm asking the Lord why. He said fuel for the journey. Come in by the illumination of the world. Right now, I release that grace all over this place. For the next 10 years, take what you need. Now, 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 now. Take what you need. 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 Strength for the journey. Shalabari Adakapa. Epekaba. When the glory comes, there will be no words to say. Oh. Agapa Kapa Katalaka Talia. Etaperi Adakapa Lado. When the glory comes. the almighty man of valor I call you by your name my God I just says electricity I says electricity I says electricity Holy Ghost all over this place now by the power of the spirit receive it now When the glory comes, there are no words to say. Whoa! Agapaka paka. How come you got it quickly? You will say, The Lord my God brought it to me quickly. Let the hand of the Lord come up my copper. Beruda, Stada Catalia, and La Perianato, Sala Catalia, Asadia, the Rode Catar, and Aladana, and Aladana, Saperega Pele de Pa, and Palata La Pa, Sande Pe. I said what you need for the next 10 years is available. It's called gala food for the next level. Prophet, eat now for the journey is far. Eat now. Drink of the spirit. That's why you are here. Drink of the spirit. I'm taking you on a long stretch. Not by muscle, not by power, not by might. It 
can only happen by my spirit except the Lord builds a house those who build the labor in faith my God where are the ladies of Zion where are the Deborahs I come to light you up today I came with the light from his presence for he is light we see light the Deborahs I stretch my hands I command you rise up You are the mighty God. Saviors shall rise out of Zion. Deliverers. Agabarada. You are the deliverer of your family. Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I call you into destiny. Right now, by the power of the Spirit. Matthew, Matthew, you are not a drunkard. No. Your family is waiting for you until you rise. No one is, uh, no one can rise until you rise. Hey, I'm seeing mighty men, mighty men, men of stature by the infusion of strength. Alado Berada. Bless your heart on your tummy right now, just all over this place. I can see by the infusion of strength, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Epa, and out of Zion, out of your belly shall flow. Help them. Bless your hearts on your tummy. The, hey, my God, help them there. Rather, Shalapali Akapa, Esoperia Dakapa, Elopiasa. It's an infusion of strength from your within. Out of the Monday to where I'm all day for things that will make we are made from things unseen there are realms of glory for your world to see ah dimensions found out. bless your hands on your tummy here in jesus christ the son rabba lagapa channels of my spirit oh with the Father no boundaries no limit open up let it call a to thee where are the Gideons where are the David where are the Morris Cerulos Ella Baradaka I command you, rise. You who sleep with the dead, and Christ will give you my cup.
are more than what you can see. The angel of the Lord is giving me a signal. Lift your hands, everybody. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me. Break me. Mold me. Fill me. Use me. Living God, if you are sick in your body, lay your hands on where you are sick now. I'm going to trust the old my God. It's happening. And now. Uh, therefore, in the name that is above every other name, according to Psalms 18, verse 45. The strangers shall hear my voice and come frighten, frightened out of their hiding place. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Whatever my father in heaven has not planted, I command them now to be ejected out of your body. You foul devil of affliction. And loose tabara for the axe is led to the root, and whatever tree the Lord has not planted shall be uprooted. I command you out of that body now. 
insanity be healed now fibroid melt away now you foul devil of cancer I cast you to your root now pain in the back I command you go now partial paralysis stroke I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus leave now my grain disappear now discharge discharge in your private part I declare let it dry up now lumps in your body under your armpit in on your breast I command them to leave now pile be healed now blood infection be healed now Omona imbalance be healed now pain in every part of your body I command it to be healed now swellings in your private part I command let it go now let that eyes be open now that ear be open now I command you rise up from your cro- from your from from your crutches now in the name of the Lord Jesus drop those crutches and walk in the name of the Lord Jesus stand up from that wheelchair now now in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you father Check your bodies. I have seen, seen the downfall of the Lord is healing someone on the left feet, just under your feet right now. The Lord is healing you. you can tap it and move it. I have seen there's a hip pain that the Lord just healed now. Yes, there's a chest congestion that just left now. Check your body. If you have a testimony you have confirmed, run to the front. Run to the front. Now, now, now. The downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Several lobes disappeared. People just got up from their wheelchair. Wherever you are around the world, what you couldn't do, do it. Amen. Is a lie, amen. Hey, is a lie. Hey! Right. 
Lord, you. accident I broke my and um, we were coming back from work and the car um, had a ghastly motor accident two people died but today I can do the things I broke my leg I broke my hand but today to the glory of God I can jump I can wait 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 you couldn't jump before no I couldn't when you I came couldn't. you couldn't I couldn't I, I could not jump I could not do anything 
but today I, I was praising God like I never have done before. Put me on A flat. We are jumping on to For the past week now, I've been feeling sick. I even went to the pharmacy to get drugs. The moment I stopped taking that drug, I'll start feeling waist pain, like serious waist pain, and I've never experienced that before. Even till this morning, I was feeling the same pain. So my sister told me about this program, and we came together. Like, the moment we entered here, on the notes, if I should go to a program, there are some things I will be distracted, but today I was like, I will, I will not allow anything to make me to be distracted. Then when he said we should put our hands in anywhere that is paining us, I put my hands at the back, and now I can't feel any pain. Mole so we be, eruata ko pa mi. Mole so we be, eruaye ko. Everybody say. Everybody say, ah, hey, this. I see her dancing. I see chains breaking. Ah, hey, hey, hey. this guy got, hey. right here just popped up now wherever you are find your way to the front I just sense a right ear pop open hallelujah my name is Oluwa Tobi Okafor <laughs> I'm sorry sir um, my name is Oluwa Tobi Okafor and for the past four weeks I've had severe migraines I couldn't read, I'm in school, I can't read I can't pay attention in class because of how bad it got I couldn't sleep on Friday, my husband and I did not sleep because we spent the entire night praying for me like I was in tears all night I came here today and I was asking God is my face so small that you cannot heal me and then you mentioned migraine you mentioned migraine I can use my nose I can I can be in bright spaces. For the past two weeks, I've been using sunglasses at night. Sunglasses at night, just so I can be in class. Like, you would not understand if... Talo da vira Talo da vira Down a My name is Tony Erickson. Um, for three months now, I did a kidney transplant here, and I've been having pains over here. I came here with my brother friend there. I was not able to even hear, I was not hearing what you guys said. But he encouraged me to come here. I just came back from the UK over two weeks. So I just came here with him during the prayers. I was just, 
I was just saying, how am I going to do it? But when I came here, the strength came. And after the prayers, I can't feel any pain. You are the Lord that changed your blood. You are the Lord that changed your blood. You are the Lord that changed your blood. You want to celebrate? You are the Lord. 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 You are You know I'm hearing a song called Sagara. Jago Jago De Oro Adara 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 just feeling the Lord healing someone on the veins. I don't know what is wrong with your vein, but the Lord is clearing it out now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Taro Sambo. Um, for, a, for quite a while now, I've been feeling this um, pain, uh, chest, uh, pain in my chest. It looks as though like something is piercing my chest. And most times when I'm in class, this thing happens and at times it runs to my stomach. And I won't be able to get myself. At times, I want to cry. And when people gather, like, it just won't happen. It just won't happen. I would tend to push everybody away with anger because the pain was too much. So it started happening here now. And I was thinking before, then the pain came again. And I heard a voice saying, Samuel, pray. Samuel, pray. Then I sat down there. I stood up. I was praying. I was praying. And he left. I didn't even notice that he left. But when he said that, that co chest congestion has gone, I was like, oh God, oh God. Uh. <laughs> You know why the Lord said I should sing this song? He said, sing it. It will be made, it will be waiting for them in the office tomorrow. He said, Do say, sing that song. They will remember tomorrow in the office. Impossibility specialist. I don't know what it is. Who knows that song? You've made me 
Make me out your fools to incredible God. You are seated. You are seated in heaven. You make me earth your fools to incredible God. I tell you, anything can happen now. Anything can happen now. Somebody latch on this, on this anointing and declare, don't ask. The difference between a new creation Christian, blood bought, is that we know our rights in Christ. Now, demand. You are not praying to God, you are speaking to things. I just sense, I just sense something very strong. With joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation. Now draw with your words. I need just five more testimonies so that we can move to the next. Thing. It is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Esther Izupo. And I said, when I was in second, when I was in primary school, I think my primary two, I had um, a accident. So I broke my knee. I broke my ankle here. They they treated it. I think three months and they, or thereabouts. So after that, later on, I think five years ago, I started having pains that have been lasting for. I've had this pain for almost five years. That it made me so lazy that I cannot stand for long. If I stand too much, I will start having pains in this man's ankle. As I was standing there, I was really having pains. But when he mentioned, you mentioned that God is healing someone in the left leg, in the ankle, and I pressed. Though when I came here, I never prayed for it. I came here because of I have prayed. I've been having this pain for almost five years. I can't stand too much. I can't stand. It made me so lazy that I can't even stand. So I didn't even have. I didn't even pray for it. But when you mentioned that God is healing pain in the left leg, and I touched it. I'm not having any pains again. It is so great to serve. It is so great. The next person, quickly. You be God, you know, be man. No. You be God, you know, be man. No. Almighty Father, you be. You be. Miracles are happening online. Praise God. My name is Joy Elijah, and I have been having a heel pain in my left leg for almost two years. I've been having migraine for like four weeks. It went, but it's coming back, it's coming back, it's going. I've, I've had back pains too. Every time I sit and I slouch for like 30, to one, 30 seconds to one minute, it cracks all the time. But he said migraine, he said back pain. He said, pain under your feet, on your leg, on the left leg. And I received my healing. I just want to thank you. Now, do what you couldn't do before. You couldn't walk like this before. Oh, if you need to walk, you have to remove your slippers. I, I had to remove my slippers there because it was really paining me. But now? But now I'm wearing my slippers. <laughs> Move around, move around. All other gods. Uh, uh, uh. They are the stupidity of men. 
You are the only God. Ah! I said all other God. The Lord is healing bread to more. They are the foolishness of men. Ah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Obina Emmanuel Eze. And um, 2019, I had an accident. And this accident really destabilized my body. And for a while, I've been having serious knee pain here. I couldn't stand for long. And when I sit for long, it activates that pain. And coming here for this program, I came all the way from Sokoto. I, I drove 24 hours down here. And that triggered this pain again. And when I was coming here, I came here with my friend Ahmed. I told God, God, I'm not living here with this pain. And when minister said, when minister said, the Lord is healing somebody left leg, the Lord, I, I could not stand. They are there, they, they know. If I stand for some minutes, I will sit down. I couldn't stand, my leg was shaking. But at a point, immediately he made mention of that, I prayed and I asked God, God, I'm not living here with this pain. And immediately I felt something sharp leave my system. And now, now I can stamp this he leg. I ask you, who is wonderful? Marvelous. Who is powerful? Yeah. Oh, yeah, won't you shout at me? Won't you shout at me? Just three more. Who did it? Jesus. Oh. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Ajaulua Tomisi Man. How do we for me, Badon? The man of God was singing and he said, if you have an issue with your left leg, and I've been having pain with this left leg for, for some week now, and it's like I have a new, I have a brand new, I can squeeze because I can squeeze my leg on the floor and I can do it now. Praise the Lord. I ask again, who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Just three more. I mean, Minister Theophilus is about to come up there. Look at your neighbor and say, you will pray. Oh. Okay. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Eniola Lossin. And since when I was in SS3, I started feeling some pains in my eye. Sometimes it goes and then it comes back. Then this recent times, it became intense. I was complaining to my dad. And then he said I should go to the health center in my school. I went there. They referred me to the general hospital at Igodo. I went there on Friday. They were transferring me from one place to the other. Then they finally asked me to come back next week, Thursday or Friday. So while you were praying, when you asked us to lay our hand on the part that is paining us, I laid my hands on my eyes and I prayed. Then after the prayer, while we were rejoicing, and I opened my eyes, it felt like a dream, like everything just became so clear. The pain was not there again. So there's no need for me to go back there. Let's, let's <laughs> because they'll fight. No, there's a need to go back and confirm this testimony. Uh -uh. <laughs> All on Wagbayo! Just two more. Look at your neighbor and say, you are next in line. You are next in line. See, don't shift to anywhere. Look at your neighbor and say, we live here. 
Okay, you understand. In that other word, they said they died there. <laughs> but my Bible says, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, we live here. Praise the Lord. My name is Ezekiel Mesoma. I've been having back pain for close to three to four years. And at a point, I just let it be with it. It's like, it's just constant. Then I remember on Thursday, I was telling myself, because I used to tell my mom, at a point I stopped telling her so she doesn't get worried. Then on Thursday, I was telling myself that would I go and check myself? This is becoming something else. But when my sister told me about the program, I told myself, say, God, if it's just this back pain, please just take it away. Because most times it's as if they put bag of rice on my back. When my I God. came in today, I felt it. I was feeling the pain the whole time, jumping, dancing with the pain. But when he now said that there's, uh, God is healing a back pain, I did not know the back pain had gone already. I started bending down and I couldn't feel the pain again. It's as if they've lifted a load from my back. The load has been lifted. Everybody lift your hands to the door of this. For you are great. You don't mean when it comes. Karabala shkaba. There is. My generation lift your voice. You. You don't mean. There is This is the fourth time the Lord is reminding me that he is opening wombs now. Block fallopian tubes just open now. Rush to the hospital tomorrow to confirm what I'm telling you. Rush. This is the fourth time the Lord is telling me. Block fallopian tubes just open now. Online, quickly. All right, online. OJ Wale said, I've been having back pain for, the, for 29 years. But now the man of God said, jump, jump, jump. And immediately I started feeling like something just dropped from my back. I'm better and healed. Wow. 29 years back pain healed. I came here feeling feverish. But as I speak now, it is, I am healed. And the final one, someone, uh, Victoria or Charles said, when Pastor Poggio was preaching, I felt something lifted off me suddenly, and I am free. Wow. Glory to God. Let's take this last one. Praise the Lord. Mine is more of a spiritual testimony. So I, for to be here on this stage, it was a testimony because they didn't want to allow me. So in the last outpouring meeting we had, I denied God of this testimony three times. And you confirmed it. You said left ear while I had my ear plugged in. I was online for a master's induction. So as I plugged in my ear, ear pod, I had oddness. I didn't know what he was saying. Honestly to God, God bear me witness. I didn't, I was asking, what was this? What was Minister Dusin saying? Then he, the, the guy beside me said, left ear, left ear. And I was like, God, can affliction rise away? Because he had healed me of this. Then the Lord told me that he's opening my spiritual ear. Then I told God, tell this man to confirm it. Then he said, he said that spirit is not just physical, that spiritual. That day also my eyes got opened. So I told God that I didn't, I was afraid of the spotlight. That was why I didn't come out. <laughs> so I didn't know it would be oh God. I didn't know it would be this. I didn't been at <sighs> thank you. You alone are the word, Lord. To be praised and adored. Give him praise for all these testimonies. You alone are the world. Lift your hands, everybody. Come on, sing to him. To be praised. Say you've been fair. Yes, God. From me. That is why your name. Forever. Let's go. We stand in the gap for 
Lift it up. We raise a sound of adoration to say we will not. Lift your hands, declare over a generation. As Minister Theophilus comes, we stand in the God for us. We raise a sound of adoration. To say we will not. Say to my toys. Everybody say we stand in the gap. We stand in the Come on for Lift your eyes and say we raise of adoration. In Japan, that we stand in the gap for us. We raise a sound of adoration. We will not lift your right hand. Say, Yahweh. this atmosphere we want to lift up territories lift up our nation Nigeria lift up families lift up young men lift up young women lift up our youths unto the God of our flesh and the father of spirits we don't care if they are smokers that came here. We don't care if they were prostitutes. We don't care whatever name they are called. We have a God who is the father of spirits and the God of all flesh. We want to lift them up. We want to lift them up in prayers. We are saying God, indeed you alone will be their God indeed you alone will be our God over Nigeria you alone will be heard you alone will be seen 
and you alone will be known. You alone are the one true God. Your name is no other but Jesus. If you know that name, can you shout that name loud in this place? And we are not apologetic about it. His name is... Who have heard of these things before? Who have seen these things before? Can a nation be born in a day? Can the earth be made to bring forth in a day? But scripture says, as soon as Zion travail, it means that bringing forth in a day is possible only in the place of traveling. Only in the place of traveling. If you can travel in the moment of time, can you lift up your voice wherever you are and pray in the Holy Ghost? Pray for our nation, Nigeria. Pray for your family. Pray for your sister. Pray for your brother. That one that you feel that he or she is getting lost. Bring them before the throne of grace. Sabra kumba tomi na selia. Ebra kada da pupa na da da pepe na to. Farato ba kaske tomi na ta. Sabra ba kato se pepe na ta. Ebra kada to se. We lift up churches. That only Jesus be known, only Jesus be seen in our churches. Roto ba kasita, ambra to ba kas kompeli. Faraku da kapora ta basi, ambre kobo silata, afra to me na gas kita me. Sabras to me ka, ifri to kobe laina, sebe bra koba na. Si anto breko panda kabala, so bebe kebrote, abris konta bali. Si anto bara kabras kata, abra bobo bote, saga branta bori, anta bras kebetoi, si anto breko panda tamias, erete bras konta tamina, si anto brete, akwa kabala tamina. Only Jesus be seen, only Jesus be heard, only He be known everywhere. Young lady, don't let the devil deceive you. You are not weak. Young man, you are not weak. There is a spirit who is the Holy Spirit that helps our infirmities with groanings that cannot be out. Can we travel in a moment of time? Few more minutes, few more minutes. We are still praying. Seven and Tobila Caparata, 
and they went from strength to strength each of them that appeared before God in Zion
What a privilege and no, no, to bow before your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. What a privilege and honor to bow before your throne, to be called into your presence as your What a privilege and honor to bow before your throne, to be called into your presence. As your own. What a privilege and honor to bow before your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. What a privilege and honor to come before your to be called into your presence. Hiya. You dwell in on a pro No one can come unless you call. Please call us into your home so we can see you as you are. In unapproachable light. No one can come unless you call. Please call us into your home. So we can see you as you are. You dwell in unapproachable light. No one can come unless you call. Please call us into your home deeper and deeper. So we can see you as you are Cause you are holy Holy, holy You are holy Holy, holy You are holy Holy, holy You are worthy In holiness You are holy His holiness. Mm. What she said, am I yo? Who is like God? You are God. So me lega no me lama. Who says she le mando? You are holy.
Your weight is holiness. Your weight is holiness. You are holy. Holy, oh, I got Amanda. I can see him. I see him. Oh, oh, see an abaruna. You are holy, holy, holy. You are holy, oh, barakata. Holy, holy. You are holy. Hey, your weight is so oh, your tummy. I see Jesus. Kai. I see the King of Glory. He rides on a white horse. Oh, baby, net holy la mancala. I see the King. Oh, my God. Forget your neighbor. Forget whoever it is that you came with. Just I malano meseli seli baruka batu mi atali lamo ambo kabase liko mi abobo karata ma ambe kuapa bude atata bude la fina tuleso ambe koso mi psycho malama. Sipola Makarua Eleferano Mankali Saikobala 
Sema. Only for those who are tired of where they are right now. I am Coromela. The door is open. The door is open. You can come in. The door is open. Can you hear him say, Oh, you're coming in. Roof of light. It's a Babranta Gloria Sun. This is your moment. This is your moment. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for your sweet presence here tonight. Thank you for all your servants and minstrels that have mounted this altar. 
thank you for the momentum of the spirit thank you for those who have tarried till this moment you said to me the forecast is real and the forecast is true there is really an outpouring for this generation Lord we honor you for the privilege to be a part of it for our eyes will see it we give you the praise and we give you the glory blessed be your name for it is in Jesus mighty name we pray those who have truly tarried till 9 36 p.m. tonight would you give the Lord a shout of praise I thought somebody would shout excitedly, expectantly. I thought your shout would communicate hunger. A louder shout of praise. Please, you may be seated. What a privilege and honor to be here tonight. Thanking God for what he's doing through Minister Dunsi Oyeko and the entire outpouring team and all the men of God. And the minstrels that have ministered tonight. But I have good news. Someone will live here truly drenched in the rain. Did I hear a hungry amen? Wow. Very simple task tonight. For the few minutes that we have. Five things to note. To be a part of the outpouring. And I'll be sharing on that in just about 10 minutes and then my session will be over. Number one thing to note about the outpouring is that it is a work of the Holy Ghost. Every single outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 at verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses both unto me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Every outpouring is not man-made. If it's a true outpouring, it is the work of the Holy Ghost. And since 4 p.m. tonight, the Holy Ghost has been on duty. I'm glad to announce to somebody who is still here at this moment, you will not live here the same way you came. Every outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. If you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more? Shall he give the Holy Ghost to them which ask him? Luke's gospel chapter 11 verse 13. So number one, every outpouring is a work of the Holy Ghost. Will you lift up your hands and as you do, you just may be the next one to be touched. May you be truly visited tonight. I thought somebody who came here for an outpouring would shout a loud amen. Number two, every outpouring is or goes through a process of traveling. Every single outpouring, scripturally and historically, goes through a process of travail. I love the scripture that my brother, we didn't talk about it, Theophilus Sunday used. That was the scripture the Lord gave. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 7 and 8. Shall a nation be born at once? But as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. Look at that. Before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who has heard of such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day or a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth. Lift your hands. In just the moment we had of that intense intercession and worship, 
Several mantles came upon individuals. And I tell you from tonight, the struggle on your prayer altar is declared over. Every outpouring follows a process of travail. Number three, every outpouring places a demand of tarrying. Those who will be part of any outpouring cannot get it quick. There is the place of tarrying. Luke's Gospel chapter 24 and verse 49. Luke's Gospel chapter 24 verse 49. He said, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. The outpouring will require a tarry. And it takes grace to tarry. It takes grace to stay. That's what it means. Minister Dunsey has a powerful song on that. I will stay at the altar. And then another one, leave me at the altar with my father. It takes a process of tarrying. Some of us tonight, after the outpouring, prayer will begin and not be able to end. I thought I'm talking to hungry people here tonight. It takes some degree of hunger to still be here. I said something is coming upon someone that will make it easy for you to tarry. It is only those that tarry, carry. To carry, it takes a tarry. When you see individuals carrying some strange generational mantles, it's because they have spent time tarrying. Lift up your hands. There are people who need that grace here tonight. I need, it. I need a lot of it myself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for everyone who so desires grace to tarry in order to see the outpouring, in the name of Jesus, it is released upon us. Let me hear the loudest. Amen. Amen. Number four. To see any outpouring. It will take a requirement of unity. I checked through the acts of the apostles. Before that massive outpouring. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. If you have it. Let's place it on the screen. Acts 1 14. It says this all continued in one accord. In prayer. And supplication with the women also and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. Prayer is great. Intercession is great. Travail is great. But hearing is a secret. They continued all with one accord. I tell you when the church gets into unity we are set for a massive outpouring. Unity of the body. Unity of the saints of God. Bringing down the walls of religion. Bringing down the barriers of denominations. And that's what the outpouring is doing. All denominations represented. It is required for an outpouring. They remain in one accord. And then in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. Look at that again. They were all with one let me hear you scream it. They were all with one. Can I hear you scream accord? That means there was unity. And so that created a platform for the outpouring. And finally number five. To be a part of this end time forecast. Of outpouring that is real. Genuine and true. And already taking place. Number five, which is most important, we need a hunger. My dear friend, Lawrence Oyo started with that. Hunger. We need a hunger. It is only those that thirst that are permitted to be filled. In Acts, in Psalms chapter 63, please, Psalms chapter 63, verse 1 to 3, we end with that scripture and then we rise to pray. 
Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. And my flesh longed for thee. In a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Verse 2, it says, to see thy power and thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. A hunger, a thirst. That is a currency of the spirit. Only hungry men can partake of the outpouring. We need a hunger. We need a thirst. Five things tonight the Lord has shown to us. Every outpouring one is a work of the Holy Spirit. Two, it follows a process of traveling. Three, it has a demand of tarrying. Four, it places a requirement of unity. And five, it demands hunger. Are there hungry people here? Our generation is not wasted. This generation will see the glory of God. Will you rise on your feet, every hungry person right now? And if you have something, you can play. That's right. Lift up your voice. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. There is a reserve for you. You waited this long. Come on. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Are there hungry people here tonight? Are there people that tarried intentionally tonight? Come on, raise your voice. Raise your voice. Lift your voice. We are praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hey. Ayakataba. Retemeni akatala shaya. Oh, Namana Mana Kataraka da la Balabaya. Thank you for the outpouring. Come on, it's a work of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has not retired. He's still here, he's still moving. Come on, lift your voice. 30 more seconds. Come on. You have been pressing, you have been pressing. Press through some more. Hey! Hey! Oh, Hey! Hey! someone pressing through at all? Come on! Come on! Come on! His presence is thick! Come on! Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. <laughs> Out of my belly shall flow, let it flow. Before Pastor Nathaniel come up, the next one minute charge out of my belly hey, shall flow. Out of Nigeria. And as the river flows, hey, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. Life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Ay, 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 lift your hands. 
as the river flows, it will be to bring it. Shada Gatala, it's a life giving ring. Oh, right here. As the river, as the river flows, it begins to bring everything. Hey. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow. Send the other part of the earth. As the river flows. Lift your hands, everybody. Yeah. It is right. What? Lift it up. I can feel it. It's the Lord of Jesus. on where you are in the river lift your hands and tell him I want to go where the river goes where you lead I will follow cause us to ride on the high places of the earth that we may suck honey out of the rock just lift your hands and just receive what he's doing receive what he's doing thank you for your holy presence thank you for what you are doing in this nation thank you for what you are doing with our vessel Years ago, I was in a service like this, a smaller one. And something entered my spirit. And 
the rest they say is history. There are people here that as we speak and play and blow, there is something entering your spirit. You are being turned into another man. Just receive it. As we worship, we spend some time worshiping Jesus. I was on a flight tonight from Abuja, rushing here. So, in my normal characteristic way, I was just praying the Spirit. So, I had my headphones and I was singing a song. And as I sang the song, my eyes opened and I saw a convoy of bodyguards trooping and entering a place. I, I believe they are here. And here's the song I was singing when I saw them.
She will listen. We can't be sure about Impossible 
impossible by the books that one day dollar will become one naira to one dollar it looks impossible do you know it looks impossible that the young people living in Nigeria and Jack behind? It looks impossible that one day people will queue up for Nigerian visa to come here. But can I prophesy here? Very soon, very, very soon, you will put your hand on your head. Yes. Jesus is here. Yes. You, you have done it again. Jesus, Jesus is here. Nigeria. Forget about the negative things you are seeing. See what the Lord has done. This same Nigeria. Look at what God is doing in the nation. Look at this gift. Look at Look at this river. I go to the nations of the earth and people want to come here. It's happening already. Pa Elton's prophecy is coming to pass. In this land, his name shall be hallowed. Sing over Nigeria. I don't know.
of this land in Africa. Sisters Adonai Father, we sing your name over Nigeria, over the nations of the earth. One more time. All the mighty men of David sing Adonai. Sing over your homes, Adonai. It means Lord, it means the one who is supreme, the one who is in charge. Declare his sovereignty over your life. Everybody now sing Adonai. unto you. May grace start it. May grace sustain it. May grace complete it. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his shalom. Can you stretch forth your hands over this gift? This, this gift to Nigeria and Nigeria's gift to the world. And sing the name of God over him. That this river will never dry. That this is the fountain of water. The fountain of the great deep that keeps gushing and giving. Your source will never want. We give God all the glory. Ah, praise the Lord. Praise Lift your hands wherever you are. Just give God all the glory. We are about to close, but the Lord said we must climax on a high note. Lift your hands and just give him all the glory. In the next 10 minutes, we are going to be out of here. But there is a bottom part, bottom part, bottom part, bottom part. Look at your neighbor and say, excuse me. <laughs> Look at another neighbor and say, excuse me. Before we go there, please can you help me celebrate every minister of God and minister tonight. From Pastor Paju Oyemade to Pastor Isaac Oyedebo to Pastor Lawrence Oyo. Come on, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. To Minister Teofila Sunday. To Pastor Victoria Orenze. To Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. To minister Femi Okunuga, lift your hands and bless the Lord. And then can we celebrate Daddy Gio? Aye, aye, aye. The testimony, sir. I have a testimony, sir. I have a testimony, sir. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. I I have a testimony. I have a testimony. Hallelujah.
Aleluia. 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 I have a testimony. The testimony is that today is the birthday of our third man. Amen. The faithful father that we serve has brought him from one height of glory to another, to another, to another. This particular event has grown from just a few people praying inside room, inside some rooms for a revival in our land. Today, I don't know what the ushers are counting, but I believe over 20,000 people are here in this arena. Thousands of people have returned home. Now, we need to celebrate the faithfulness of God. Amen. Permit me to invite all the people in leadership to just join us right now. As they come up, if you are his direct descendant and you are in the house, please join us. Tim is not around, I know that, but every other person, please join us. To the glory of God, Pastor, Pastor Nath will be praying for him directly, openly, all of us will hear it. But right now, right now, I want him to please humbly come forth and cut his birthday cake. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, may I crave the indulgence of the ministers we invited and leaders to please come. We, we're going to, please, if you are leaving, if you are leaving now, then it's a bit sad because this is a vessel that you have drunk or drank from. And we're not asking you to give an offering. We're not asking you to give anything. We're asking you to just honor him and pray for him. How many of you want to to drink from this fountain for as long as possible. The least you can do is pray for him. So, can people just just wait, please? I call to remembrance the great deliverance that God showed this man and God showed us. How many of you remember last year? So, that he's here today is God's goodness. First, we're going to cut this cake and then we would pray for him. I want us to form a shield around him. I'm going to pray, we pray some 89, 20 to 29. I found Dulcie, my servant. With my holy oil, have I anointed him. So, he would hold this cake. Hello, sir. We have the mic. It's very shy. And we prophesy that by next pouring, there shall be an ashalet. Cutting this cake. Hey! Come on, say, hey, 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 hey! Hey! Now we're going to declare outpouring. Be coming down now. You have not caught the cake. Hey. <laughs> Tempa. We're going to holler outpouring. And at the sound of outpouring, let this be a prophetic symbol that the cutting of this cake will signal an outpouring from this land to the nations of the earth. That his desire to see the nations filled with the spirit and with Jesus will be fulfilled in his eyes and in his time. Are we ready? Give me an O. Give me a U. Give me a T. Give me a P. Give me an O. How about a U? Give me an R. Give me an I. Give me an N. Give me a G. What is that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, can we just surround him? He surrounds you. 
with many victories. Jehovah Nisi, he's your banner. He goes before you. He fights your battles. Jehovah Nisi. He's singing over you. The Lord is rejoicing over you with songs of deliverance. With many victories, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, your banner, he goes before you, fighting your battles, Jehovah. I have found Dulcie, my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. The Lord will beat down your foes before your face and plague them that hate you. But his faithfulness and his mercy shall be with you. In his name, the name of the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, shall your horn be exalted. He will set your hand also in the sea and your right hand in the rivers. You shall cry unto him, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. He will make you his firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. His mercy will keep you forever. God's covenant shall stand fast with you. Your seed also will the Lord make to endure forever. Their throne as the days of heaven. In the next one minute, stretch forth your hands and pray those blessings. We pray the blessing of Naphtali over you. You are satisfied with favor and filled with the blessings of the Lord. Possess thou the south and the west, the east. We bless you with the blessing of the heavens above, the blessing of the womb, the blessing of the breast, the blessing of the deep beneath. You go from grace to grace, from faith to faith, from strength to strength. We sentence you to long life. With long life, would God satisfy you and show you his salvation? May you be a man of God's presence. May you stay on that path, straight and narrow. The Lord shows you the path of his presence. Where you daily inquire, beholding the beauty of his face. The Lord makes your name great. Father, we bless your son. I join my faith with this servant of yours and sons and daughters of yours to declare Dulce the blessed of the Lord. Every word of prophecy concerning him shall come to pass in quick succession. We thank you for your son. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. You know, the Lord said to me to sow my birthday. So I wasn't expecting. I mean, I just wanted to. <laughs> Pastor Nath said, when you sow, you reap a harvest. Please, can you help me celebrate all the ministers of the Lord? Please, please. Is this the best you can give to the Lord? One more time, can we celebrate our patriarch? Daddy Gio! I celebrate all the leaders of the outpouring team. Abuja Outpouring, London, Canada, Lagos. God bless you. Every volunteer, the Lord bless you. Don't worry, next week, Saturday, you know where we are meeting. We have a Holy Ghost praise party. Ay, 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 ay. Our Thanksgiving is next Saturday. But I really want us to close tonight. Everyone who gave, we, we, we thank you so much. Thank you for giving to the Lord. You can see what your money, your contribution did. 
is to the glory of the Lord. The number of my scars are the number of my feet. That's why my praise. That's why my praise. Hey. Lift it up. The number of my scars. Hey. That's why my praise. Hey. Say it again. The number of my scars. That's why my praise. Say you don't know. Like I know. I know For me. We are the dancers. Excuse me. Many battles, many battles, many struggles. Fighting for me, winning for me. Many battles, many struggles. Fighting for me, winning for me. Sure, the number of my scars are the number of my That's why my pride. Look at your neighbor, the number. That's why my prayer. Are you ready? Pop, 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 pop. Say, excuse me. Excuse me. Give me space, give me space, give me space. You don't know. Like I know. Somebody, let's say one. Look at your neighbor. Give that. Yes, you. You don't, don't, don't. Say you don't know. You don't know. Like I know. Say, say, I will sing, I will, sing, I will shout, I will, shout, I will dance. Say, I will sing, I will sing, I will shout. Hey, God, right, come on. Say, I will sing, I will shout, I will dance. Time, let's go. Say, I will sing, I will, sing. I will shout, I will, I will dance. I will let them know. Everybody say, Papa, I am. Your church, when you get the miracle, 
When you have your testimony, in fact, before, shout it on the rooftop, on social media, on Instagram and Facebook, everywhere I will add them. You better let them know. You better let them know. Are you ready? I shout, oh, you go of my worship rose up to the Father noises turned three earthquakes where the response to my worship the fragrance of my world rose up to ay 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 Everybody say, ba, 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 ba. This is how you we are born. Are you ready? Set the fragrance of my fragrance of my worship. Rose unto the Father. When you get to your office, noises don't praise like The fragrance Do 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 
for your glory. My life is for your glory. I am. Say, I'm so. She Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You are taking me, oh, yeah.
presence of your children, Yahweh. Sow the seed in your boss's home, Yahweh, Yahweh. You get to release the name Yahweh. of all these chairs and everything. There's a football match here tomorrow. We need to get rid of all these chairs. 